Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the. I was thinking of looking at the DeFi coins, the top gainers DeFi coins, hottest DeFi coins of the week. What do you think about it? What do you think about it? Uh, we'll sort it by the past seven days. Hottest, hottest. How about it? We start with Perpetual Protocol, followed by Unfi, Flamingo, Max Protocol, Numerare. Hello Tributes, Synthetics, Bella, Idex, and then we'll end it with Maker. How about that? How about that? How about that? Let's get straight into it, shall we? Perpetual Protocol. Uh, they've been rising insanely towards the upside. Ooh, buying pressure is still on. Um, more upside to be expected? Yeah, I think so. More upside to be expected for Perpetual. Um, are we going to get an inverse head and shoulders? Potentially, right? We could still rally a little bit higher. Hit resistance, come back down, form a right shoulder, continue higher, stay above the skinny pink line. Woohoo, that'll be the best case scenario for perps, but nothing much for us to do at this point of time. We are already severely overbought, so you do not go long when things are already severely overbought. Perp against USDT. Uh, here we are for perp. Uh, okay, I like. What I see on perp USD to be honest, because this looks to me like a potential A B C D E. Do you see this? Yeah, so if you could just again consolidate here just a little bit longer, right? Get a very nice wave E, and then yeah, we could giga send towards the upside, potentially double digits uh, for perp. But again, we still need to see this happen first. We need to consolidate a little while longer, and this could actually be the wave two up one. Consolidate two up three consolidate four up five. You see that we could be doing something like this. So yeah, again uh, we we would love to see consolidation, right? We're already severely overbought. Uh, but again, if you look over here, um, yeah, just because we're overbought doesn't mean we can go any higher, right? We could still go higher. I hope that uh, we maintain the resistance over here. If we just zip through, then. This is just going to be something else. So we're going to have to take things one step at a time. We're not entirely sure what the perp whales are trying to do. So yeah, but we kind of like what we see though. Normally as a trader, you want to miss wave number one, which means that you want to see buying pressure coming in first. You want to see proper consolidation. Hopefully it's a bullish continuation towards the upside. Uh, but yeah, again, we don't really know, right? For example, when there was a rally that came previously over here in 2023, there was some sort of a consolidation, but yeah, eventually became a descending triangle. Can you see this? Mountain one, mountain two, mountain three. It's a descending triangle. Very short pattern, right? So eventually we dip lower. So again, we don't know what we're going to get over here. Is this going to be bullish? Is this going to be bearish? Yeah, we're going to have to give father time, uh, you know, space to do his thing. Unify protocol DAO. On Phi BDC, yeah, Ben Phi also has been on a ripper towards the upside. Uh, I also like what I see on Unfi. <laughs> Perp and Unfi looks really good to me, right? Uh, this could be a very nice ascending, right? You can also call this an A B C D E, right? Uh, again, the hope is that we see some sort of a consolidation over here. We need to see consolidation. We can't just jump in like that, right? Uh, and of course, we could still come back under the skinny pink line. Right, so again, we're not entirely sure what the wheels of Unfire are trying to do, uh, but once we complete this right, this is actually against BTC, which means that potentially we could be going really, really high, really, really high. 700% uh, is insane uh, against BTC, but uh, again, we will wait for this to happen first. Right, we need to see this consolidation. Hopefully, we get a very nice wave E. Hopefully, this is something really bullish, and also hopefully, we stay above the skinny pink line. Then, we're on track for a party for Unfi BDC. Unfi USDT. Uh, yeah, Unfi USD looks great as well, to be honest. I mean, of course, you have to cut through this week, right? If you were to cut through this week, it's beautiful. What a beauty, right? You see this? Valley 1, Valley 2. Again, it's very important that we stay above the skinny pink line. Very, very important. If we stay above this, right, and we consolidate over here, Best, absolute best case scenario. Absolute best case scenario. Uh, and so I hope, I hope that we get a nice consolidation over here. Well, again, we can't really tell for sure at this point of time. Uh, we can only hope for the best. Uh, but yeah, again, we're not going to be jumping in when things are already overbought, right? When things are already overbought, this is not an area to be going in, right? Look at how far uh, we fall, right? 
we're already overbought over here. Right, so yeah, you see this? You see this overbought, right? Again, overbought is not an area to be going long. So you need to wait for things to consolidate, dip a little bit first uh, before doing anything, right? Before considering even doing anything. Flamingo, FLMBDC. Flamingo Finance, yeah, there's a zip up, but then we're already halfway back down. <laughs> there's a difference between perp and unfi, right? We're still quite high, uh, but for Flamingo, there is selling pressure, pulling the price lower. All right, who knows uh, that we could still zip higher, but uh, in terms of the technicals, it's not really that good. Not at this point of time. So we're going to have to uh, come back in future and just, you know, just to see how things are. Even the USD pair doesn't really look that good. It's, it's a sign though that uh, there's buying pressure coming in, but s I suspect there's still a long way to go, right? Several more months before FLM is ready right, for anything. In my opinion, right, uh, these few attempts to break the skinny pink line is good. Eventually, you're gonna break the skinny pink line. It's only a matter of time, right? So yeah, again, we'll come back to Flamingo one fine day in the future. MCB against BTC. Okay, we don't have it here. MCB, USD? Yeah, we have it on Binance. So for MCB, yeah, MCB, we could be getting an inverse head and shoulders over here. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Or <laughs> we could also be coming back down, right? This whole thing could be an A, B, C, D, E, and then we break higher. Could very well be the case. Again, we're not entirely sure. We don't see any clear, high quality, tradable chart patterns for MCB. So we're just gonna have to move on to Numerare against BTC. Here we are for Numerare. Again, you see the selling pressure coming in? You see the selling pressure? Yeah, it was unsustainable. Break above the skinny pink line, stay above the skinny pink line, then we're on pum higher. But we got sliced back down, right? Then we got pulled back down, got slapped back under the skinny pink line. So yeah, here we are. But uh, all is not lost though. I feel like this could also be a very long drawn out consolidation. And then, yeah, maybe, maybe uh, we might be slipping back up, but yeah, not much yet. Not at this point of time. Numerare against USD. Yeah, I kind of like the lower highs over here and the higher lows, but is it really truly the higher low? Could we still zip lower to sweep these lows before going back up? Could we? Of course we could. Uh, yeah, this, uh, I wouldn't be doing anything for Numerare. Not at this point of time. Tell our tributes. TRB BDC. Woohoo, look at this. Right, uh, there was something like a squeeze. Not exactly. Uh, TRB, yeah, TRB looks good, to be honest. Uh, I see it. Do you see it? Woohoo, A, B. Very likely we could be completing with C, coming out for D, E. Boom! Potentially, right? But we still need to see some strength, pushing the price higher, a consolidation above the skinny pink line. Then we're on. We're on for a party. But until then, yeah, we'll be cautious because TRB could still head back lower. We could still form mountain ranges and we could still head lower, right? This could still turn bearish. So we're going to have to proceed with caution for TRB. Against USD, yeah, there, there is some, again, buying pressure, but the chart, isn't really that good, so we're just gonna have to move on. Synthetics SNX against BTC. Here we for SNX. Uh, yeah, so we were saying that this is a head and shoulders. We broke down, right? We broke down, we broke the support. We swept everybody who had a stop sell over here. Everybody was swept, swept away. And then now we are kind of hovering right on top of the support again. So, so are we going to come back down or are we going to break the skinny pink line for good, for real? Okay, we're not too sure. Right, we were saying that um, our 445 target still stands. We respect the target until we take out these highs. Right, so take out these highs, which means very likely a rally back up above the skinny pink line. Stay above it and yeah, this whole thing could become a reversal, right? Very beautiful reversal uh, for SNX against BDC. We could be getting it, but... Again, we're not, we're not entirely sure yet, so we're going to have to take things one step at a time. SNX against USD. Here we are. Yeah, we also like this, right? There was a very nice uh, consolidation, accumulation, I would say. Lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. Higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. Something you want to see, right? Uh, but again, no guarantees. We could still sweep these lows. So, before coming back up. 
right? Something like this could still happen. Again, we're not entirely sure. Uh, we don't really like this because you can also consider this as potentially mountain ranges. So yeah, we'll, we'll come back to SNX if and when uh, we see some uh, something which <laughs> which is more bullish right now. We, we kind of like this though, the sideways move. Usually, remember, when bear trends end, we go sideways for a while before we go back up. So this could be the bottoming before SNX hits higher. Mm -mm -mm. Bell protocol, bell against BTC. Bell against BTC. Looks sweet. Do you see this? Do you see these boys and girls? Poo A. Fast B. C. Fast D. And then E. Out. Right. I mean, of course, we could also co collapse lower over here, right? This could be a very long extended C, right? But if you look at the distance, right, is 400 days from top to bottom, right? Right now, from top to where we are, it's already 458 days, which means that, in my opinion, based on what I see, the end might not be too far away. I don't know when the end is going to be, but it might not be too far away. We're already so overextended compared to the wave A, right? We see it's very long. So, I, I suspect we could dip a bit lower though, right? Just a bit lower to just to sweep up all of these lows before heading back up. Something like this could happen. Again, I kind of like what I see on Bell BDC. I think there is potentially a, yeah, a giga send happening for Bell, but again, you want to be very careful about uh, you know your entries because if things really do drop lower, yeah, the next area of support will probably around be around here. So it could still drop forty percent, right? So yeah, and this is against BDC. Bell against USD will probably drop even more, right? So again, there's also a very nice resistance line over here. I like what I see. This is beautiful. Touched once, twice, three times. Very nice resistance line. Uh, I think it's only a matter of time before it breaks. But then again, uh, what kind of a chart pattern is this? A very slanted type of uh, inverse head and shoulders. No. Uh, squeeze over here, maybe, A, B, C, D. Yeah, but again, there is danger over here. Real danger. We could be taking out all of these lows. Again, so that's what like I was saying. Uh, we might dip a little bit lower, sweep up all of these lows before coming back up. And this whole thing could be the A, B, C, D, E. Can you see it? A, up, B, down, C, D, E. Something like that. So if this really does truly happen, it will already be like August 2024 before we see any, you know, anything happening. So it's, it's not going to happen this year. Very likely it is going to happen next year if we dip lower. So again, we will have to proceed cautiously for Bell for Bella protocol. IDEX against BTC. Here we are for IDEX. Anything for IDEX? Uh, nope. IDEX USDT. Anything? Nope. I don't like this mountain range. Right, can you see this? Mountain one, mountain two. Very clear support over here. High lows, high lows, high lows. This is not good. You see this? Left shoulder, head. Yeah, I feel like this is a potentially a right shoulder. Of course, we could be wrong, and of course, this could really be the bottom, right? Bearish trends, go sideways, let me come back up. Potentially, but again, we're not entirely sure, so we can't, we can't say for sure. So we're just going to have to move on uh, from IDEX. Maker! Maker against BTC. Maker has been on a rampage. Maker is really above the skinny pink line, so I like what I see on Maker. Maker, Unfi, perpet Perpetual Protocol. All these three are already above the skinny pink line right now. They are pretty bullish in my opinion. Uh, but again, it's very important. It's imperative that we stay above the skinny pink line. Best is if we just touch the resistance line, we come back down, do something like this. This will be a beautiful A, B, C, D, E. Boom! Maker goes parabolic. Exactly what we want to see. But again, we're not entirely sure, so we're going to have to... You know, take things one step at a time. Uh, we could still come back all the way down. Uh, so yeah, I kind of like what I see though. I really truly like what I see. It's just that we are already quite overbought. This is already the overbought area, right? And there is already a lower high on the MACD, lower high on the RSI. 
but it's still a lower high on the price as well unless we go slightly higher then we'll get a higher high on the price lower high on the macd lower high on the rsi double bearish divergence potentially a reversal so yeah you have to be very very careful about rushing to anything right when it is overbought you don't want to buy things when they are overbought maker against usd here we are for maker okay same thing as well above the skinny pink line we like what we see very nice squeeze over here right lower highs lower highs lower highs higher lows higher lows break out above the skinny pink line this is beautiful so we had a target over here at a thousand eight i think we're heading towards a thousand eight uh, again we are already consolidating above the skinny pink line mm, we like this uh, but again i again still strangely feel that we could still zip a little bit lower sweep up these lows uh, before hitting higher for maker right i kind of like what i see on maker uh, I, st I still think that we're on course for a thousand eight and this could actually very well be a wave two right this whole thing could be a wave one wave two and then yeah wave three we're expecting a wave three uh, to come on very likely for us uh, to hit a thousand eight right i mean of course we could just zip up from here as well but in terms of a continuation chart pattern yeah we don't see it yet we would love it if we got a bullish continuation chart pattern, but we just don't see it yet, right? On the way down, yeah, you can see big, big mountain ranges zip down. Mountains again, zip down, right? Again, rising channels zip down, brutal. Maker had a brutal correction, right? And after that, after that, right? Usually when a bear trend ends, we go sideways for a while. Very nice consolidation. Breakout above the skinny pink line we respect the skinny pink line the moment we break the skinny pink line over here there will yeah usually there will be a get out rally this is where you get out right uh, and then yeah that's it collapse top to bottom how much did maker collapse 91 percent insanity um yeah and now i think we're on our way back towards uh what's it called valhalla yes sir we are on our way back towards valhalla um all-time highs yeah i'm expecting these highs especially these highs over here to be taken out at around 4,000 4,001 4,002 maybe right now we're at a thousand bucks so this will be another yeah 200% towards the upside right so if you had big amounts uh, let's say for example millions right yeah maker is the one uh, because there is decent liquidity uh, on maker right uh, where's the volume maker volume yeah 53 million decent liquidity so yeah but i know uh, vitalik just sold his maker mm, but i think maker is going to rise higher would be a mistake though to sell but anyway he's not a <laughs> technical analyst but yeah i still think a thousand eight we're on course for a thousand eight right we had this target way back uh, in july and yeah more upsides to be expected for maker is that it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Ta -da! dance uh that's 10 for you. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, see you in the next one. Ta -da!